I'm not really a tech guy at all. But, you know, for me, the thing that is that has sort of uh, motivated me to start companies is just that classic issue of there's a problem out there that I see. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I wonder why somebody is not doing that. And that was really the motivation behind SketchUp. Um, to back up a little bit, I actually was a structural engineer, went to school in Boulder and studied engineering. And let's see, I think I graduated in 82, showing my age. And uh, the economy was really bad. So I, I ended up getting a job on a framing crew. And uh, when I actually did start working in the industry, if you will, my first, one of my first jobs was working for um, a brilliant guy who uh, did a lot of precast work. All of his work was precast. And, uh, you know, a precast building is essentially like a giant three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. And, and, you know, essentially you have to create very accurate, uh, you know, construction drawings, elevations, plans, that sort of thing, but also very accurate what we call piece drawings uh, that, you know, describe the individual pieces that are, that are cast in a plant and then hauled out to a job site and put together. And, you know, it's pretty intricate. I mean, everything has to work, not only the aesthetics, you know, with reveals and medallions and all that other stuff that you see on the outside, but also how those pieces connect and interact to frame of the building, which sometimes is also precast, right? So, like I said, I worked for this brilliant, crazy, fun guy, Gary, and uh, he was an early adopter of 3D um, and sort of inspired me in terms of what you could do with 3D. Uh, and that became the motivation to, to try and automate some of the processes that are involved in detailing a precast building. And really, really, in many ways, what we did is... Well, while it back up, so two good friends of mine were graphics programmers and I pitched this idea to them about starting this company and they thought I was nuts. And, and of course they told me later, they, they posed a challenge to me, which was if you can go out and raise money in the industry, it'll prove that the industry wants it and we'll have the money. So we'll do it. And they thought it would never happen. And I ended up talking to a really large precast company in Canada wonderful, wonderful um, sort of chief engineer there. And, and he, he was, when I gave him a demo about how this would work, he was in. He was like, yep, we'll, we'll throw some money at it, see what you guys can do. 